Visual novels are a great way to experience a fully-fledged story, but they can be long and time-consuming. That's where short visual novels come in. These VNs are typically 5 hours or less, making them a great option for those who want to enjoy a good story without having to invest a lot of time. In this video, I'll be sharing 10 of the best short visual novels. These VNs are all well-written and engaging, and they are sure to provide you with a few hours of enjoyment. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Number 10. Find love or die trying. This one was a good surprise. Find love or die trying is a free visual novel released in 2022. The game is set on a tropical island where the protagonist has been invited to participate in a dating show. However, there is a catch. He must seduce one of the six guests in order to escape the island. If he fails, he will die. The game has a unique premise and a lot of humor, but it also has some serious moments. The characters are well developed and the story is engaging. This visual novel is also very generous with its CGs and character sprites and the music is well composed even though it gets a little bit repetitive sometimes. However, the game is a bit too short to really get attached to the characters and the story progresses too quickly in the last third of the game. Even though this game is not flawless and has no voice acting, the promise is so unique that I can recommend it to you and you can expect to finish it in about 5 hours or shorter and you can download it on Steam for free. Number 9. Pale Cachexia. Pale Cachexia is a horror visual novel released in April 2021 and developed by Gallium Games, a company known for their yaoi visual novels. This game is a departure from their usual genre telling the story of a young girl named Esther who is suffering from a mysterious illness Acer ventures into a forgotten forest in search of a cure, but she instead meets Seina, a girl who lives alone in a towering manor. The two girls are drawn to each other, and their friendship blossoms despite the dark secrets that haunt the manor and its cemetery. Isser's illness continues to worsen, and she eventually succumbs to the pale Cachesia. However, her friendship with Seina gives her comfort in her final moments. The game focuses on these final moments, exploring the themes of true friendship self-sacrifice and grief. The game uses several different styles of storytelling including ADV and EVL and the art is some of the best that I've seen in a visual novel for a long time. The music and sound design are also top-notch creating a truly atmospheric and haunting experience. From melancholic piano pieces to unreal passages and ominous dark ambient, the music is the epitome of gothic but what completes the sound collage are various ambient sounds like the crackling of fire, prattle of rain, or the rustling of blankets. The character designs are compelling and drawn in a style that I find quite appealing. The main character I think was especially expressive and well drawn. You can expect to finish it in about 5 hours, so if you like horror visual novels and touching stories, you should definitely check out this game. Number 8. Letters from a rainy day, oceans and lace. It is a Yori kinetic novel developed by Lini Spinal and released on Windows in June 2021. It is a short and sweet romance story set in Kamakura, Japan. The story follows Shiori Minato, a shy and introverted girl who is asked out by Mikoto Kurahashi, a popular upperclassman. Shiori agrees to date Mikoto, but Mikoto is angry because she's received a blackmail letter threatening to harm her sister unless she dates Shiori. Mikoto starts dating Shiori, but she believes Shiori is a blackmailer. The art is elegant and delicate with a pastel feel to it. The music is relaxing and touching. The story is wholesome and promotes positivity. The characters are really touching and their voice acting is of quality. It doesn't reinvent the wheel but I was satisfied with it and I definitely think some people might like it too. Hence it's present in this list. You can expect to finish it in about 7 to 8 hours so it's quite short. If you like Yuri romance, cozy music and an overall wholesome story this game is for you and is available on Steam. Number 7. Anachorasu. 
Released in September 2005 and developed by Naturplus, it is set in a parallel timeline where nuclear weapons were never developed. Japan continued to fight through World War II. The game takes place in early 21st century Tokyo, which has been transformed into a haven for Japanese culture. In a city where firearms are banned, swordplay is a weapon of choice for those who want to settle their scores. Our protagonist, Takeda Akane, is a swordsman driven by desire to face his one true rival, Igarasu Yoshia. The story is written by Narahara Itetsu, who is also the writer of Full Metal Diamond Muramasa. This game is full of details about swords and sword techniques, and the author's love for the sword is evident throughout. Japanese martial arts is a crucial part of this story, and without it, this story wouldn't exist. Each action taken in a battle is explained in full detail, so that you can understand exactly what's happening. The story is also full of conflict, as Akane and Igarasu struggle to come to terms with their past and their destinies. The supporting cast is also well developed, and each character has their own motivations and goals. The soundtrack is unique and atmospheric, melding jazz, electronic music, and rock together. The character conversations feel natural, which helps make the characters feel human. The linear story works well to keep the player engaged, with hardly any details from the plot. The game is relatively short, clocking in at around 8 hours, but it packs a lot of story and content into that time. If you are a fan of martial arts and Japanese culture, then Anachirasu is a game you'll want to check out. It's a well-made visual novel with a lot to offer. Number 6. Lucy, the eternity she wished for. This one takes me a while back as I purchased this game when it got translated into my native language, which is French, back in 2019. This game was developed by MV's Lab, a Korean game company, and that's their very first visual novel, which released in February 2016. The game is set in a distant future where androids are a normal thing to have in every house, mostly to help with household chores. The protagonist is a 18 years old guy who absolutely hates those androids for reasons that the game eventually explains. One day coming back from school, he decides to cross a junkyard to save some time and you find an android on the middle of this junkyard that was going to be destroyed in a matter of minutes. Obviously, he saved it because reasons and repaired it. This android who calls herself Lucy Valentine ends up being one if not the most advanced android ever created who can feel emotions. With this promise, we start to live our daily lives with Lucy at our side, who suddenly changes everything on it. I went in expecting a very predictable story about an android that wants to be a human. It became an unpredictable experience that surprised me until the very last scene. Sieges are gorgeous and very detailed, as well as character sprites that are really appealing. And don't get me started on the OST that are really affecting and touching. I played with Korean voice acting, but Japanese voice acting is also available if you want. The best parts of this novel come from their interactions and you'll get truly attached to Lucy by the end of the story. I personally completed it in about 7 hours, so you can expect this much. If you want a compelling story with relatable characters and wonderful graphics, this one is for you. Number 5. Marco and the Galaxy Dragon this one was a pleasant surprise as it starts with an animated intro. In the same style of a trigger anime series, Marco and the Galaxy Dragon was made by Tokyo Toon, who made the princess, the story cut, and matters of the heart, so I could expect great things from this game, and I was not disappointed. It tells the story of Marco, an orphan who had lost her memories, and Arco, a dragon who hurled the galaxy. They are treasure hunters traveling through space. During one of their adventures, Marco was given a clue to the whereabouts of her mother. Thus, she goes to Earth and trouble comes as she tries to find her mother. The character designs and sieges are wonderful. There are over 1000 sieges and they are used dynamically throughout the game. And the animated scenes are smooth and also reminiscent of Cartoon Network's cartoons. I could feel the company behind it wanted to make a high standard game. I and it turned out amazing. While the premise seems intense and this VN does have some emotional scenes, there are a lot more comedic moments from beginning to end. So if you like comedic visual novels, check this out. Expect to complete it in about 6 hours as it is a kinetic novel. Number 4. Kikokugai, the Cyber Slayer. 
コンパクト転写か。One more night for press game in this list: a cyberpunk mixed with traditional Asian martial art, initially released in September 2003. It received a remake in 2011 under the title Kikokugai Reichin Reirin Shan, with updated version, both voiceovers, revamped graphics, and enhanced animations. I highly recommend this remastered version for a more immersive and polished experience. In the future, Shanghai is ruled by crime syndicates and cyber warriors. Kung Tao Luo, a master of the ancient martial arts, returns to the city after being betrayed by the Qing Yun Society. He seeks revenge for the death of his sister and vows to destroy the syndicate. The setting of Kikokugai is fantastic and well detailed, and the music fits perfectly. I have no major complaints about this game. The fight scenes are intense and gripping, and the voice acting and animated CGs are top notch. Although brief, the fight scenes are action packed and described in detail. As with a natural su, various Chinese martial arts techniques are used and discussed all throughout the story. The point of view from both the main character as well as the villains is shown in order to flesh out character motivation and apprehension of both parties. If you like a good revenge story with developed characters and a unique universe, don't wait and dive into this game. Hone ga ita. Wanatte okure. Mou ichido. Number three, Narciso. This is a classic visual novel and one of the first visual novels I've ever played in my life. It was developed by Stage Nana and was released in 2005. A prequel was made due to the success of the game, but I haven't had the chance to play it yet. It's a kinetic novel that tells the story of a young man who remains anonymous and receives the diagnosis of a terminal illness shortly after turning 20. As a result, he is admitted to a hospital in Mito, Irabaki. It's there that he encounters Setsumi, a 22-year-old girl who is also facing a terminal illness. Discovering their shared determination to avoid dying in a hospital or at home, they decide to steal a car and embark on a journey together. Even though it's hard to bring a tear to my eye, I literally cried at the end of this novel. The sound design, the music, and the voice of Setsumi all contribute to the nihilistic atmosphere that the game intends to convey. The sketches, even though they aren't plentiful in this game, fit the overall feeling. Of the story, blurry and unsaturated, to express the depressed state of the characters. This game will make you aware of what's essential in life and how lucky we are to be healthy and alive. You should expect six hours of reading for the first Narciso game. The developers are very generous, offering a free package that includes both games. If you're looking for an emotional story with engaging characters, I highly recommend this one, and I think it should be a must in your backlog. Number two. Planetarian: The Reverie of a Little Planet. Made by one of the most important visual novel developers of all time, Ki. It was released in November 2004 and is an important game from the studio. In a world where the space colonization program had failed three decades prior, humanity was on the brink of extinction. The Earth was plagued by a relentless and lethal rain, leaving only remains of civilization behind. Among the survivors were the junkers, men who scavenged goods and artifacts from the ruins of the past. One courageous junker decided to venture into the most perilous of these ruins. He made a remarkable discovery: a pre-war planetarium. As he entered, an unexpected encounter awaited him. Inside, he was greeted by Hoshino Yumemi, a companion robot who assumed he was her first customer in three decades. Filled with enthusiasm, Hoshino Yumemi attempted to share the beauty of the stars. But their meeting took an unexpected turn when they realized the planetarium's projector was broken. The junker agreed to embark on a journey to repair the projector. This short story is full of tear-inducing moments. The ending is bittersweet and will leave you feeling sad and gloomy. The story is a slow burn that is easy to pick up and read. The music, visuals, and writing all blend together wonderfully to create a touching and bittersweet experience. Planetarium presents a hopeful view of humanity, even in a bleak city. Through the eyes of a robot girl, I was surprised by how much this short story affected me. The fact that this story is so simple, with only two characters, is a testament to its power. It shows that you don't need a long and complicated story with lots of characters to break your heart. You can expect to complete it in about four hours. If you like emotional stories, futuristic settings, and good writing, this novel is for you. Yes. Take care of yourself. 
I swear, this game traumatized me. There are plenty of Nitro Plus games on this list, but they excel in crafting concise yet unforgettable stories. I had to play this one at the top. It was released in December 2003 and directed by Urobuchi Gen, known for his work on other popular visual novels like Peacock Guy, Fate Stay Night, and even Psychopath Mandatory Happiness. Sayano Uta stands out as one of the most translated heroes I've ever encountered. The narrative revolves around Fuminori's Sakisaka, a medical student who survives a car accident that claims his parents' lives and leaves him severely injured. An experimental brain surgery warps its perception, rendering the world nightmarish. Fuminori wants to end it all until he encounters Saya, a girl who appears normal amid the horror, becoming his sole purpose. Fuminori isolates himself, assisting Saya in her quest to find someone. Concerned friends and a doctor observe his peculiar behavior, leading to an inevitable collision of their paths with unpredictable outcomes. Saya no Uta ranks as one of the most horrifying visual novels I ever played, offering a unique and unforgettable atmosphere. It immerses you in a grotesque world filled with slimy monsters and eerie environments, making you deeply empathize with the protagonist. The dialogues are Rich, and even the age scenes are thoughtfully integrated into the story. However, I can't recommend it to everyone due to certain themes that may be distressing for some. Putting that aside, I guarantee it will linger in your mind long after completion. It's been four years since I finished it, and the experience remains vivid. By the way, I'm very disappointed we are not having more news from the movie adaptation, and I think it fell through, so it's a pity. Anyway, you can expect to complete this game in about six hours, and I strongly encourage you to explore all the the roots as they provide deeper insights into the characters. If you have a taste for chilling visual novels, this one is a must play. Is there any game in this list that piqued your interest? If you want to know all game releases in September 2023, check out my video about it I released a few weeks ago. Don't hesitate to share short visual novels you will recommend in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. With that, have a great day.